hello there welcome back and in this video i'm gonna start with the image segmentation program so first of all we need to import some library like numpy as np we also need to import k-means so from sk learn dot clusters cluster import k-means and we also need to import matplotlib dot pipe plot as plt and we also need to use cv2 that is open cv because we have to use the image so cv2 okay now what we need is we need to read the image so image is going to be cv2 dot im read okay and let me just get the uh, Let me just get the path of the image. So this is the path of the image and let me just show you what is the shape of the image image dot shape. Okay, so we have 600 by 1000 pixel images and we have three channel because it is a RGB image. Okay, so now if the uh, image size is too big, then you should uh, uh, if the image size is too big then you should resize the image because otherwise it is going to take a lot of time to process all of the pixels but the image size is considerably small here so i'm just gonna leave it here like this now what i'm going to do is i'm gonna get x y and z so 600 is x 1000 is y and 3 is z so this is going to be this and that is going to be image dot shape okay now we need to show the image so plt dot i am show image so now as you can see that this image is not uh, looking great and the reason is because uh, open cv open cv reads the image in the bgr format bgr and matplotlib uses the image in the rgb format so basically blue is replaced with the green so that's why it is looking like this but we can just convert them to back to pgr okay so for that part now i need to do is img equal to cv2 dot cv2 dot uh, cvt color convert color and in this i have to pass the image uh, and also i need to pass cv2 dot color color underscore bg uh, bgr to rgb so we need to do this now if we will see plt plt dot i am show image so now as you can see this is the real image okay so now this is looking good now let's see what we have to do next so in this image what i want to do is i want three dominant color okay so the first color is going to be this the second color is going to be this green and the third color is going to be this okay so i want three dominant colors but it is up to you and if you don't know what dominant is what dominant color is basically what i am saying here is in this picture i am going to take the k as three and if you do not know what k is you should go and check out my k means series so in that you will find out what k means okay so k is the basically the number of clusters or the number of centers that we are going to find so the let me just set dominant color oh, yeah uh, we also need to do one more thing here what we need to do is we need to reshape our image so image is going to be image dot reshape uh, reshape minus one and three 
so what i have done here basically right now this image is a 3d image and as i have uh, shown you in the previous videos that that in k-means we work on 2d images <clears throat> although you can also make uh, some changes to this and uh, use this as 3d image but still what i am doing here is i am making the 3d image into a 2d image so it can normally work so what we did in this part uh, in previous videos was like this that we have some data points and then we had some centers like this so this is what we did in the previous videos but right now we have a 3d image so what i am doing here i am converting it into minus one times three okay so this is the shape so as we know that we have three channels okay so the number of so the number of columns is going to be three and minus one is what minus one is going to do minus one is going to multiply x and y so x into y is going to be um, minus one so basically what we can say that our image shape is going to be uh, let me just show you yeah, wait a second so let me run this first and we also need to pass this as a tuple okay so now if we'll see img uh, img dot shape so as you can see here we had 600 x values and 1000 y values so now what we have is 600,000 values so now we have 600,000 rows and three columns so this is how we have converted our image into a 2d part uh, it is very clear i have uh, talked about it uh, many times before so let's move on what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the dominant color the Do dominant color that we want is going to be three okay so dominant color is three and uh, now i'm going to also create a model so let's make a model model equal to k means and in this i want the dominant colors okay then what I need is model dot fit and in this I need to pass the image so as you can see it is running and it is going to take a little bit of time yes but if you can see if you had a bigger image then it will take even more time so it is better to have a small image for this part okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the colors that we have so colors is going to be model dot cluster centers so i have already explained like how our center uh, in my previous video uh, i have already explained like how our cluster center is going to be the colors that we will use but i will explain it but i will explain it once more so let's run this first and we will see what is the color so colors is going to be np dot array i am just converting them as an array and array colors and the data type is going to be going to be u and it okay so again what we said here is that we have some data points like this And we had some center like this so if we talk about our normal program in this every data point is nothing but a pixel value okay so it is representing a color every point is representing a color so what we are doing here is we are finding the center so now if every pixel is uh, representing a color and we are getting the center so center is going uh, uh, going to be nothing but an average color of all of these colors okay and this center is not uh, going to be nothing but average color of all of these colors so this is how we are finding the uh, when we are getting the centers it is going to represent our colors okay now what i am doing uh, what i have to do is i have to 
uh, let me just show you wait a second so first see let's see what colors we have so we have this color the first color is this the second is this and the third third is this okay so now what i have to do is i have to make a black um, make a new image so new image is going to be new image is going to be np dot zeros in this what we need to do is we need to pass the size so x into y times x so i think that you understand why we did this because our image right now the size of our image is this so x into y into z so this is oh, we are creating a new image and this image size should be equal to the original image okay and in this we also want our third we also want the data type so data type is going to be u int 8 u int 8 so this is going to be an image and what i am doing is for i in range new image dot shape zero so what i am going to do is i am going to we have three columns and 60000 rows so i am going to go through the 60000 rows and what i am going to do here i am going to replace the values so new image i is going to be colors model dot labels i So when the uh, when the k means gave some center to some data points, it only uh, not only just give the centers but it also gives the label. So the center is this, okay. And the label, let's suppose this uh, the label for this is going to be zero. If we have another center for some other data, so the label is going to be one and so on like that. So what I am doing here is we are replacing the new image values with the colors and in the colors what we are doing is we are selecting the centers so if the model dot labels and for the ith part okay so if we have the first cent if the basically what we are saying if the pixel belong to the zeroth label then uh, pass this center if the pixel below it, um, if the pixel belong to the first label then pass this center and so on like this so this is what we are doing here now as we have here what i need to do is i need to also reshape it back to the its original shape so new image is going to be np dot reshape reshape and we need to pass new image Email and we need to pass x comma y comma z okay so now let's print the image or let's show the image so plt dot m show new image so now as you can see here what uh, i did what we did is basically we have three colors so it is taking the uh, sky color as the um, the blue color for the sky the green uh, the greenish color for the grass and the whitish color for the sunrise so this is the average color of the colors that we have here okay so it is just showing the average color and this is the example that i wanted to show you for image segmentation
so now let's uh, now see here that uh, when we are doing the modal dot labels we are passing a subscript here also so what it is showing it is showing that okay so for the first pixel the uh, uh, for the first pixel uh, the class uh, the label is two the second pixel again the label is two for the last pixel the label is one and somewhere in between the label is going to be zero okay so this is what we are doing here and i hope that it is clear now if you want more uh, what do we say more numbers of uh, dominant colors then you can also do that so let me just do it once here uh, once more so let's suppose we want four dominant colors okay so let's see what it is going to do but it is going to take more time uh, now to process this so let's see what is going to happen as you can see here uh, it took uh, a little bit longer than uh, when we had three uh, dominant colors okay so now we will have four colors and our new image is again going to be like this so now as you can see here we have the uh, major differences in the green part and i can see why we have the major difference in the green part because there's a lot of shades in the green so you can do it like this and it's up to you how many dominant colors you want to take if you want to take 10 it's up to you it is just going to uh, it is just going to uh, find the average color uh, for those colors but let's see what is uh, going to be the result and now as you can see it still hasn't uh, done this part because it is uh, taking a lot of processing to compute all of this So as you can see here because now we have 10 parts so it is showing some shading and it is similarly like the original image so if you will uh, you know if you will make 20 or 30 it will look uh, like similarly like your original image so guys this was it for this video and i hope that you understood the concepts like where you can use uh, your k-means and there are a lot of examples uh, where you can use your games better than this but in this video i wanted to show you this so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time